It's a debate as fiercely polarizing as gun control or abortion rights, euthanasia. But lawmakers in Belgium considered a measure Thursday to allow terminally ill children the right to take their own lives. It would allow children to ask to be allowed to die if they're in pain and can't be treated. Belgium has allowed euthanasia for terminally ill adults since 2002. The proposed law brought protests leading up to the vote with anti-euthanasia demonstrators carrying signs reading care, do not kill. Others claim thousands have already been killed just because lawmakers are considering it. But going into the day, the measure was already all but passed with more than three in four Belgians supporting it. The issue presents an impossibly difficult scenario for families involved, and even they aren't in agreement about the morality of child euthanasia. Linda Van Roy was forced to watch her infant die under sedation because of a terminal genetic mutation. And if they really want to say, stop, this is it, I don't want it anymore, that they can have a choice. But Al Jazeera spoke with a father who never considered asking his terminally ill son if he wanted to die. If parents come and ask, do you want to live or die? What kind of question crosses the child's mind? Would it please my parents if I die? Would it be for their good or for mine? A CNN reporter noted in practice the law might not see much use. A similar law in the Netherlands requiring parental consent passed in 2002, and only five children have requested euthanasia since then. Regardless of which side of the debate you fall on, perhaps a pediatrician in Brussels put it best. I'd be rather scared if it didn't evoke emotional reactions. We're talking about children. For Newsy, I'm Jamal Andrus.